Yeah, baseball fans, the Naturals return next week for a two-week homestand. All right, let's take another look at the get ready forecast with yeah. meteorologist Robert Sir joining me here. So you talked about that heat and humidity coming back a big way, but I guess the the bright side of it is no rain in the forecast for any outdoor events that people might have planned. Yeah, uh, that, that is the flip side. There is no rain, which would cancel your outdoor events, but there's also no rain if you need the rain. You're a farmer, so it's kind of a double-edged sword there. We'll talk about that in a second. First, outside to Fayetteville right now, things are nice and quiet. We got up to 91 degrees in Fayetteville, 2 degrees above the average of 89. Oh, chilly morning in 1992, down to 47. Ooh, is that... That is comfortable, comfortable morning there in 1992. Fort Smith things are also quiet. Another warm day in Fort Smith, 97 uh, in Fort Smith, just three degrees shy of the century mark. Uh, 107 though this day in 2000. That's a very, very warm day. Now, all of the recent rains that we have, and that included the Saturday and this past Sunday events, uh, basically knocked out all of the drought or abnormally dry conditions across the entire area, which is certainly good news in the short term. Now, this could be reversed and drought conditions could quickly be returning because six to 10 days out climate prediction center is, is showing the pretty strong confidence in below average precipitation also eight to 14 days out kind of in a bullseye here this goes out to the end of the month so yeah unfortunately hopefully the rain that you needed you got over the past couple of days because it's going to dry out pretty quickly. We're in the 70s right now across northwest Arkansas, 80s mostly in the River Valley, a few uh, mid 70s floating around. You can see Cole Hill there in Clarksville uh, checking in at 74 degrees each. Good evening, Lamar in eastern Johnson County at 78. Weak front is crossing the area. We'll continue to do so. Won't do much. Notice our winds light out of the northeast now and will also drop dew points just a little bit. So tomorrow won't be a very oppressive because we'll have one more quick day with lesser in terms of humidity values, uh, but that will quickly reverse itself as we get into Saturday and the weekend and beyond. Notice here by Saturday morning, already starting out much warmer than what we have been, but our weather has been quiet. It's not going to be quiet in the southwest. We're keeping a close eye on Hurricane Hillary here. Well-defined center of circulation, an eye right in the center there. Winds of 125 miles an hour, now a formidable Category 3 storm as it makes its way through the eastern Pacific. It is eventually expected to turn toward the north as a strong Category 5, 4 may flirt with Category 5 status and could make landfall. Latest track here from the Hurricane Center has shifted just a little bit east and any wiggle or wobble in the track will make a huge difference for Southwest California in, in terms of effects and rainfall. Something we'll be watching 60s and 70s tonight and then 90s across the board. Maybe a couple triple digit heats far southeast Oklahoma tomorrow. And there's the extended forecast. Uh, lots of sunshine, warm, if not hot temperatures, depending on your tolerance for the heat. Great for sore NWA if you're headed out there. Uh, make sure that you bring some water and some sunscreen and in the River Valley, pretty much the same thing. Hot, hot, hot as we uh, get into the final couple of weeks of August. Uh, September will be here before you know, but let's please hold off on the pumpkin spice for now, folks. I'm already seeing that online. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, that heat returning, like Robert said, you may need a double scoop of ice cream where Snoop Dio Double G has a new frozen treat to help. Dr. Bombay has seven flavors, including bonus track brownie, iced out orange cream, rolling in the dough, and s'more vibes. Ice cream available at Walmart stores for five bucks. And we talked about some of our favorite ice cream flavors, but like Meredith, what's your go-to like dessert, any kind? Ooh, probably ice cream. Really? Ice cream's wow. my favorite. Like and you're a good, uh, Rocky Road, right? Yeah, Rocky Road, a good shake from Brahms, some fries mm. to dip in it. That's the go-to. I do like a shake. How about you? Oh man, I do. If you have the right dinner, a nice slice of like carrot cake and some decaf coffee, that hits the spot. <laughs> that, that really does. But I'm going to contradict myself. I do like pumpkin spice bread. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> a little tiramisu with maybe some. I'm uh, not Grand a tiramisu Monier. fan. Cheesecake. Like fancy stuff. Oh, I do like cheesecake. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm from Georgia, so you know, pecan pie or yeah. pecan oh, pie. Oh, yeah. Down there. But. Uh, we uh, got a lot to look forward to. Other than that heat, there's some uh, exciting sports. The start of sports on the hill this fall. Yes, all the sports getting back in action now. We had soccer tonight, so we've got those highlights from the season opener coming up right after the break.